there's always a great deal more continuity between administrations, even when the party changes, than there is discontinuity. And I would not expect a radically different foreign policy from the next Democratic administration. But also, you were a McCain foreign policy advisor, were you not, during the campaign? Well, in a manner of speaking, yeah. I guess your chances of uh, winding up in the government uh, declined somewhat in the, on the first Tuesday of November then. Well, I'm still hopeful. I have my lines in. I think there, there's still some possibilities of a big job dangling out there for me. I'm going to yeah. keep mum for now, okay, Bob? This is from the Wall Street Journal. Mr. Kagan serves on the Foreign Policy Advisory Board of Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. But what's that all about? You're on the Hillary Clinton's advisory board? Yes. Uh, well, Secretary Clinton has set up this uh, uh, Foreign Affairs Policy Board, it's called, and uh, it's a bipartisan group. What people call neoconservatism, I actually call a mainstream bipartisan view that has been dominant uh, in this country and in this town uh, for quite some time. It, everybody from Dean Acheson to, to John F. Kennedy to Ronald Reagan. Um, it's bipartisanship but, run amok. But how... <laughs> Uh, I would say, to characterize this administration's foreign policy coming in, uh, it was not Bush. Uh, and that was pretty much up and down the line. If Bush favored democracy, we're not favoring democracy. I dare say we will find more continuity, and I know this is a horrific thing to say, uh, between George W. Bush's foreign policies and, some, and, and also in terms of dealing with terror and some of Barack Obama's policies. Uh, continuity is in American foreign policy it generally greater than discontinuity. Um, presidents are not as different from one another as they think they're going to be, and sometimes as, as, as they certainly not the way they sound in campaigns. And in the hope of upsetting all of you in one way or another, it is not uh, dramatically different from the Bush administration. Will you appoint a special prosecutor to independently investigate the gravest crimes of the Bush administration, including torture? We need to look forward as, low, as opposed to look, looking backwards. Um, there's good reasons for this. American interests don't change overnight. Uh, and part of my job is I don't want them to suddenly feel like they've got to spend all their time uh, work looking over their shoulders and, and lawyering. So no 9-11 commission with independent subpoena power? Already, we've seen that uh, promises to close Guantanamo uh, in a year have gone by the wayside. I would say it's not going to be closed in two years. It may not be closed in three years. Uh, and who knows when it's going to be closed. <laughs> Thank you.